YouTube, it's Carter on Carter's Club, and today we're going to be making a more complex DIY than yesterday. So today we're going to be making like a phone charger station, you know how you have to plug it into an outlet and then charge it to your phone. This is more simple, and the materials you will need is something to measure with, like for example I got a yardstick, but also a ruler would work as well. Um, paint so you can decorate your little charge station. Cardboard, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cardboard. I'm not even kidding. Um, a hot glue gun if you have it. <laughs> Pencil will come in handy. And also some scissors. It is not easy and it will take some time, but it's worth it to have a good phone charge your station. So let's get on with it. So right now we are cutting out all the cardboard. Sir Carter, um, do I need to, um, you know, do I trace this out again? Yeah. Well, you can just trace that out. Okay, thank you. <laughs> See you guys in a minute after we're done cutting out the cardboard. We're back with Amanda and she's going to explain things a little bit. Okay, so you're going to want to cut out this shape exactly and then Based on the size you want, we're going to make a, probably a medium a medium one, not like a large one. So you're going to want to do, for this little square, you want to do 5 inches by 6 inches. And then 5 and a half inches, which is going to be both for both sides, and by 8 and a half inches. And then you're going to cut out how many? Four? Uh, yes. And you're going to cut out four of these with the, the same measurement. So basically, you can just retrace every time to cut again. Yep. So now we're with Caitlin, and she's going to explain things. Okay, so you're going to make ten of these, and I'll show you how to make these. You can write on this because you're just going to paint it over anyway. You're going to have, right here, you're going to have two and a half inches here from the edge. Five and a half inches, you're going to have one inch over. It's actually super easy. Then another five inches and two and a half inches over. But there's still five inches here. And then you're literally just going to copy the exact same thing, the same, like, inches and whatever. So two and a half inches, five and a half, one. And then you're going to make these. And after you make this, you're just going to cut it out after this. Just cut it out, and then just retrace it on cardboard. You're going to have to make All right, so we're back, and we're about to do the hot gluing and the hot gluing session of this whole project. And make sure that you have an adult around using the hot glue, and make sure, like, no kid are, like, like, uses that or yeah, that like, no person. kid that's, like, you know, That's really sharp, and this is really hot. It can really burn you. Um, that's really sharp. You can cut your finger. Like, no. It's really sharp. Okay. Alright, so, so basically anyways, you just have a parent around. Yeah, yeah, just have a parent around if you're young. Anyways, uh, we're going to do the hot gluing session, like I said. So first of all, you're going to need one of these base cutouts, um, flat. And then you're going to need a second one. And then you're just going to hot glue them together like that. There you go. Oh, well, first of all, they switched because it was really hard to push that. Yeah, okay. So I'm just holding it down to just um, let it dry really quick. For like 10, 15 seconds? Probably. Yeah, about 30 seconds because it's hot glue and that dries fast. All right, I think that's done. Okay. So the next part is we have to get, we have to divide this into five since there's 10. So we're going to have to have five on one side. So that's, five and two groups. Five. Yeah, five and two groups. And then what we're going to do, like we cut it out. So what we're going to do. We're gonna put five on each side of because the you know that little space is for your device, and then yep. that yep. little space is and for I your wanna, cord. Yeah. So this is a um, space for the device or whatever you're like charging. a phone, like a phone. So and then you put your plug in, and through. then you put your plug in through here. Yeah. yeah. You got yeah, it, so Amanda. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now I need to do the other. Alright, so we just finished the 10 pieces that go on the sides. I'll put it down. And now, um, what we're about to do is just finish the rest. Put the two base ones on top of that. Yep.
so now we are finished, and this is what it would look like. And you would also see the holes in the middle. Might hold it down more. There oh, there's the hole from the other now side where you're going to put the plug. And here's the other hole from the other side where you're going to put the charger through. Yep. So you can plug All right, and that's it. Now we just need to do the decorations, and that's going to be it. So now we have the measurements for the little arm. It's going to be two inches, and then this one's going to be an inch and a quarter. And then you're going to make four of these. So you are going to have two. Oh, the rule is going to fall. Ah, there you go. You're going to have two right. You're going to stack them together, basically. Yeah, and then, and then glue them up. You're going to sign up. You're going to put them to the side. Because it's going to be a little, like, it's going to be a little, like, I don't know, Minecraft little person thing. And she's going to be standing up. It's going to be a little person. It's going to be so cute when we finish it. And I think next we're probably going to start painting. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's start yeah. All right. So I'm here doing the headphones my sister's going to paint in a while. So for the headphones, you're going to need, a, you know, um, a skinny piece of cardboard. It basically depends on how big your head of the... Your yeah, but anyways, for us, it is 12 and a half for the length, and then one inch right there. For the width. Like, yeah, for the... For the height, basically. Yeah. Don't lengthen it. Okay, and then you're going to make a circle. It can be a square circle for your little headphone for your ears. Your earphones. We're doing circles. We're going to do circles. And we're measuring by using just, you know, a cup and, cir and circling it. And then you can either use scissors or your exact knife. Any size, any size cup would work. Okay. Yes, any size. You're going to need, of course, two. Yes. Do you want to make, do we want to make four and thicker? Sure, yeah. Yeah, we're going to make four of this. Circle. Thicker would be perf better, but if you guys want to do it, that's fine. And we'll be back um, with the painter. So, we're just going to do, you know, a little thing and see what everyone's doing around the house. So Bennett's FaceTiming his friend, Aiden. Are you FaceTiming? Say hi, Aiden. Wow. Why Aiden, say hi. To the oh video. my gosh. I want to play Fortnite. So can you please get away from me? And then of course we're doing something over here. She's cutting out the ear for the um. The earphone, the head. The, the, headphones. the circles for the, the headphones. headphones. Yeah, that's what they're called. It's so a robot that loves music. Yeah. And right now I've painted, I already um, did that. By the way, he's here, and now I'm painting these blue. You're probably going to paint most of it blue, but beside that, you're kind of gluing onto it. You don't have to paint. And then you can choose any color you want for the body. And if you want to be a girl, you can have a little bow if you want it. We're just yeah. doing a guy. And yeah. you can paint the body, yeah. Any, any color you want for the body. Any color you want at, at any decoration. We're just helping you come up with how to make it. And then this is going to be Alright, and then my little sister Ava is painting the um, black headphones. Alright, and we'll be back with you when we got everything painted. Alright, so we are almost done. We just have um, a couple of painting things to do. Oh wow, nice strategy. Thanks. Well, that size drawing, she put the paint cap in there to hold it up. The arms, that's the way, smart. take so long to dry because they're so. It takes so long to dry. But anyways, those are the arms. Those are part of the um headphones. Yeah, Ava's painting the one of the headphones, and I'm painting the other one. Too. You only need to paint one side because you're just gonna go like this. Yeah, so it's really coming together, guys. It's it takes a long time, but, but I mean that after it's gonna be like amazing. Like this is gonna be the coolest. Yeah, it's so cool. Ever invented. So, yep. <laughs> we actually are blowing it for a reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, to dry it out quickly. It takes so long to dry. All right, so we'll see you guys when everything is ready. Bye! We are almost done. 
Look at that beauty! Yeah, it looks very good. So we got the headphones on, we got the, you know, the base of the body, and still that paint holding it up. And mm -hmm. right now, I'm just making the legs, because I just noticed that. So, it's really simple. All you have to do is just cut strips, that's pretty much it. Cut them into, try to cut them into equal squares, or rectangles at least. And so then basically, there's really not a size. You can make them standing up. You can, I mean, if you, you wanted... You could just add some black pants on it if you wanted to. Yeah. You can do anything, guys. Just kind of... It's your imagination. Oops. By the way, if I'm talking funny, it's because I have my retainer in. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, just do yeah. your, just follow your imagination. And so I would just stack three yeah. and then glue uh, glue them to the bottom. But not, like, down there because I'm trying to, like, like, glue them so it looks like it's sitting-ish. Right? Yeah. All right, so this is awesome, guys. I, lo I love it so much. And um, Amanda and Caitlin are so awesome because Amanda did the eyes and the mouth while Caitlin did the bow tie and the three buttons. It looks so good. And we're gonna probably, by the way, y'all, um, y'all, gotta stop saying y'all. By the way, add a little, like, indent, like a, you need to cut out a little spot so you can get the cord through. Yeah. So the cord can stay so it can stand up because we'll it's be gonna right be back when that hole is done. And then we'll clean up a little bit and then we'll do a little montage of our final thing. Perfect. All right. See you in a little right, bit. So now we're going to show you how to actually use it. And now that we thought about it longer, this could also be a place to hold your phone while you listen to music, like a little speaker thing. Yeah, you could. You just hold it upside down and then you put it in and you can just listen to music. Perfect. Okay, so what you're going to do is, like we said, you need to cut, you need to cut a little hole right there so you can actually like put it in the charger and what you do is basically just keep sliding it up keep sliding it up keep sliding it up until you can until you it. actually get it mm -hmm. and then what you need to do is this is a just put the charger in your phone mm -hmm. my eyes kind of hurt that's why it's being okay then you just leave your phone in there and, and then, then perfect it just plugs and it looks really cute and, and then, then your little robot can hold it yeah perfect and then when you're done charging your phone you just you know pull Take, it out yep Perfect. Yeah, so that's all it basically is, so. Mm -hmm. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace. Blooper. Honey bushes. <laughs> you are so rude. Did you hear know what he just said? What? Wow, that took a really long time. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, well, has they all fell on the floor, so here you go. Just kidding. <laughs> None of them fell on the floor. Alright, well. Fudge. <laughs> Look at the